All right, guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Now, typically on my channel, we do a lot of vlog stuff. We do a lot of product reviews, but I do have another area that I am very passionate about. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have put up a lot of pictures of the stuff that I carry in my pockets. So my pocket knives, the little tools I carry and things that are part of my EDC kit or my everyday carry. Now, I wanted to do a video on what my summertime EDC looks like because I try to keep it pretty lightweight and pretty simple, and hopefully this gives you guys some ideas on how you can improve your everyday carry kit. Let's get into the video. Now, if you guys follow the EDC community on Instagram or here on YouTube, you know that people setups can get pretty complicated pretty quickly. In the summertime here in South Carolina, I like to keep mine super simple. Typically I'm wearing, you know, shorts and a t-shirt and I don't want to carry a lot of stuff on my body. When the humidity is at like 90% and it's 97 degrees outside, you don't want to have a bunch of stuff touching you or real heavy stuff in your pockets because it just makes me uncomfortable. I'm kind of a sweaty dude anyways. And I just don't want to carry that much stuff that's going to make me feel even hotter or even more bogged down. So what I'm going to show you today is what I consider to be my ideal summer carry. It's very lightweight, it's very useful, and I try to keep it to kind of the bare essentials of what I need to get the job done each and every day. All right, so first things first, as you guys always know, I always carry a pocket knife. I got my first pocket knife when I was five years old from my grandfather. I grew up on a farm, so knives were an essential tool, something we carried every day to cut baling twine, to deal with hay, to help fix things, to whittle, to cut food, just about anything and everything we did around the farm, we needed a knife for. So that has carried through to today. And in my summer EDC, I like to carry lightweight knives. So I'm gonna show you guys three primary knives that I carry in my rotation throughout the summer. So the first one here is the Benchmade Griptilian. So this is one of my first kind of premium pocket knives. This is one of my absolute favorites. Um, this is the Mel Pardue design with the sheep's foot. I absolutely, absolutely love this thing. It has been beaten and abused. Um, I use it just about every single day for household tasks, cutting boxes, opening packages, just about anything. And with these FRN scales or basically these plastic scales, this thing is super lightweight. Now you will notice it's a little bit thicker uh, than a lot of pocket knives. So it is pretty fat at the end. And in your shorts pocket, this can get a little bulky. So the second knife that I carry and the one that I've been carrying a lot is this guy. This is the Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. So this guy has some lightweight scales on it. You can see it's got a really nice grip texture. It's got that big spidey hole. It's super fun to play with. It's incredibly lightweight and it's really, really easy to use. And last up and still probably one of my most favorite knives of all time is the Benchmade Bailout. Uh, great blade steel. I love the Tonto tip because I can basically use this for uh, both fine detail work and you know opening packages or doing anything that I could need around the house or when I'm on the go. All right, next up in my left rear pocket, I carry a very minimal wallet. Now this wallet is from Bryn Mawr Dry Goods out of Atlanta. It's a friend of mine's company. They make excellent handcrafted leather goods. Uh, and this I believe is called their Highland wallet. Um, you know, I don't really carry a ton of cards with me. I try to keep that pretty minimal as well, but I wanted something that I could just grab and go throw in my gym shorts, throw in a bag and not even notice that it exists. All right. Next up on this list on my summer essentials EDC is this. So this is a Roby Vaughn flashlight. So if you're looking for a light source and you want to use something that's a little bit more powerful than your phone flashlight, this guy is just about perfect. So it's got a rechargeable lithium ion battery inside of it. It recharges via USB-C and it is crazy bright. So you can see it's got kind of low power. Let's go high power. And I mean, you can see 
anything and everything. It's completely adjustable. You can even go, you need to blind somebody, you can do that. But this incredibly lightweight little flashlight has been absolutely my go-to. This thing just disappears in your pocket and you don't even notice that it's there. Next up in that same pocket, I carry this. Now this is a brass Fisher Space Pen. You know, I really don't think you should leave home without something to write with because you're always gonna run into a situation where you need to write something down and you know, let's say your phone dies or you don't have something to write with, a Fisher Space Pen is excellent. Now next up in my pocket is gonna be something that is a little bit sentimental to me, but also something that has some real practicality and that is a Zippo lighter. The only modification I've made to this is I have put the Zippo butane insert into this lighter. So you can see you get a nice butane flame out of that. You don't have to worry about your fuel running out as long as you keep this thing topped up. It's super reliable. It gives you a great flame to light just about anything you can need to on fire uh, or to start a flame. And for some reason you needed a fire or fire in a sort of quick survival situation. Next up, we have my firearm. Now, this is a Smith & Wesson m and Shield 9mm. You know, I haven't really done anything to this. It's pretty simple. I do have the uh, Hive extension or mag extension on the bottom there so that I can get a few more extra rounds since this is a single stack pistol. You know, I carry 9mm because it is a readily available ammunition. Now with this, I carry it just in an appendix holster. Um, this is Kydex with just two very simple belt loops. I think this is just some knockoff brand from uh, you know Amazon or from somewhere deep on the internet. There's no kind of name brand on that. All right, so next up in my pocket is my iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, not too much to say about this other than I keep it in a Horween leather case by Nomad. Um, you know, not much to say about this. Now, the upside to having your phone with you is if you don't want to carry a dedicated flashlight, most phones have a flashlight on them uh, that is perfectly serviceable and usable if you're just, you know, looking around the truck for uh, something that one of your kids dropped or something you may have dropped under the seat. This is great. Um, I also typically use this to keep notes, take voice memos, take photos, do just about anything and everything that I do on a day-to-day -day basis online or manage all the things I need to remember or do for the day. Now, next up is one for all you bald guys out there and actually even for you not bald guys out there. And that is a simple handkerchief. So this is just a blue cotton handkerchief that I got from, I think Walmart or something like that. They come in, you know, big packs of five or six. Um, this is something that's super simple that I think is often overlooked by people is just having a piece of cloth in your pocket. Um, for me, the biggest reason I get to use this is because, you know, we get this like 90 degree heat and, you know, 90% humidity. I am sweating constantly and I always need something to wipe my face off with, to wipe my sunglasses off with. And this is just a good all around piece of cloth that can be used to clean things, wipe things, wipe your forehead sweat off and keep you cool and keep you from looking like a disgusting caveman uh, all through the summer. So I never leave home without a bandana in my pocket just because it makes things so much easier and I find that I can stay comfortable and outdoors much longer than if I don't have it. And then I'm also not just wiping sweat all over my t-shirts or trying to clean my glasses on my shirt or any kind of junk like that. All right, next up are a couple of just small personal care items. So I always carry this stuff. This is O'Keefe's Lip Balm. I love this stuff. You know, my lips kind of get, get dry and cracked during the summertime and especially during the winter. So I always carry chapstick with me just to kind of keep the old keep the old kissers nice and smooth for the wife. Next up, we have a bottle of hand sanitizer. Now, you guys know in the age of Rona, it's always good to keep your hands clean. Clean your hands, don't be nasty. All right, last but not least is my key setup. Now, I use, uh, this is a Night Eyes carabiner to carry all of my keys. First up on my keychain is this guy. This is a Griffin pocket tool. This is the original size in brass. I run into situations daily where I end up pulling this thing out to you know, do a small repair, to turn a flathead screw, to turn a Phillips screw. 
um, to open a bottle, to measure something. I mean, there are countless uses for a small multi-tool like this that you can just pop on your keychain. And then last but not least, we've got the uh, car key to my Dodge Durango. So like I said, with this little night eyes setup, you have these tiny miniature carabiners on here. So you can actually just pull everything off. So if I'm going into a store, if I need to go do something, I just pop my car key off, stick this in my pocket and head into the store and then leave the rest of this stuff in the car. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. That is my lightweight summertime EDC. Uh, if you guys wanna know any more about any of the items that I talked about here today, I'll try and link the majority of this stuff below. Or if you just have a question, feel free to leave a comment. If you guys like this kind of video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. I know about 80% of the people that come to my channel videos are not actually subscribed. So I'd love to see you guys subscribe to the channel if you're finding this kind of content useful. And if you loved it, feel free to share it or leave a comment down below. Let me know what's in your EDC. What things are essential for your summer carry? What do you like about this? What don't you like? Uh, and share your opinion with me. I want to have that discussion and engagement with you guys so I can continue to learn and grow. And we can all learn and grow together. So until next time and until the next video, peace.